All right, we're going to watch Erica's freestyle here. Erica, while we're watching the freestyle, um, do make sure you refer back to the email with the notes in there. These are just different things you can focus on uh, before practice, after practice, even before meets, if you don't have time to watch the video. Just different keywords of things that we're seeing that we want you just to keep focused on, different things that you're doing really well. Um, you know, as far as practices go and, and, and everything that we see right now, love how much you're coming to practice and love how hard you're working. Not happy because today we just got the email about you breaking your finger. So I know that's going to be a little bit of a struggle, but I know you're going to be able to come back just as strong as ever. So we're looking forward to when you're able to get back. All right. So let's slow this down a little bit and we're going to start over and just kind of focus on a couple things. Uh, number one, as we get right here, the one thing I want to talk about is high, how, how high that elbow is and how good you're doing a good job of keeping your arm and your forearm and your wrist all in line together. That's fantastic. Okay, we want to see that all the time. That looks great. As you start to get into that head recovery, you kind of see here that your hand is about to enter that water and your eyes are still looking at the wall to the side, make sure you get that head down just a little bit quicker. We don't want to wait quite so long to drop that head down, okay? As you start to enter, though, you can see good fingertip entry. That looks great. On the left side, again, you have good high elbows. Your hand's a little bit wide, and you can kind of see that your fingertips are trailing behind you. Keep those um, fingertips all in line with the forearm, okay? You do a much better job on the right side than on that left side. But then here, you get a good fingertip entry all the way over. I'll be curious to see the underwater front view because it does look like you may be crossing over a little bit here on that left side. We want to be careful, making sure that we're always entering right at your shoulder width apart. Your kick out here is fantastic. You can just see a nice steady legs. That looks great. All right. Again, this is a little bit better view. You can see as you get halfway through that stroke, your wrist is trailing the whole time on that left side. All right, so keep working and making sure that that wrist is right in line with your forearm when you enter. When you enter it is, but when you, when you exit, I mean. Head position looks great. You can see that it's a little bit bent here, back here, but this is a much higher head, elbow position. This head position, your eyes are down, that's excellent. Really, really good. Good job of taking a quick early breath, but then get that head down. So right here, that head should be in the water, and you can see you're still looking over here. So we've got to make sure we're working on getting that head down a little bit quicker after that breath. You don't want to have quite so long of a breath out there. As we go through, fingertip entry, that's great. Now as we get into our turn, we've talked about this a couple times before, but let's look at your hands right here. All right, at this point here, what I'd like to see you do is turn your palms down, and start throwing water at your uh, face is, is the way I like to describe it. But as you can see right here, your hands come above the water. Okay, so both hands, you got this hand here, this hand here. Both hands are above the water. When ideally, we actually want your hands here more in position where your head is so that you're actually able to get in your streamline. So you're doing an extra movement with those hands. Let's make sure we keep working on that. As we get those legs into that wall, the streamline here looks good. Wait a little bit longer before you start your dolphin kicking. You pretty much pushed off that wall and then right away went into your dolphin kicks. You want to wait about a second and a half to two seconds. Let that streamline push you out a little bit further and then start dolphin kicking. Okay? Because the idea is uh, the fastest you are in a race is obviously on the start, but the second fastest point you are is off your turn. And once you start dolphin kick, you break that streamline. So make sure you keep working. All the way through dolphin kicking after you do the two second glide. Two, three, three, four dolphin kicks. I want you to break out in a little bit stronger flutter kick there after the dolphin kicks. But then as you start that breakout right here, you can see your head is about to break the surface. And that elbow is already starting to come up. That's a good breakout, Erica. I like that a lot. Hand around. Excellent job of not breathing right away. You took two full strokes. Fantastic. Keep it up, Erica.